Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to take a look into what is REST API. Well, first, let us talk about the term API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. That might sound technical, but think of it like this. An API is simply a way for two different software systems to talk to each other. Imagine you are using a mobile app to order a pizza. When you tap the button to place your order, the app sends a message to the restaurant's computer system. That message might say something like, please send one large pepperoni pizza to this address. The way that message is sent and the way response is received, that communication is handled by an API. In this example, the app on your phone is a client, the restaurant system is a server, and the API is a messenger that carries information between client and server. Now that you know what an API is, let us talk about the word REST. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It is a set of rules that developers use to build APIs that work over a web, just like the website you visit in your browser. When an API follows the rules of REST, we call it as a REST API. Let us understand more about REST API with real world example. Let us go back to the pizza ordering example. You open a pizza delivery app on your phone. You see a menu of pizzas and you choose the pepperoni pizza. When you tap the order button, the app sends a request to the restaurant server through a REST API. That request might include the details like which pizza you want, your address, the payment information. The server then processes the request confirms your order and sends a response back, something like your order has been received and will be arrived in a 30 minutes. All this communication happens through the REST API. You don't see the code, you don't see the messages, but they are happening in the background every time you use a modern app. Now let us understand how REST API works behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, REST API uses something called HTTP protocol, which is the same system your browser uses when you visit the websites. So there are more. So there are four main types of actions that a REST API can perform. These actions are based on HTTP methods. The first is GET, which means get some data. For example, if you want to see the list of available pizzas, the app sends a GET request to the server. And then server process that request and sends all the you know data to the client the second is post which means send new data so this is what happens when you place an order in the delivery app the third is put which is used when you want to update something for instance you might want to change the delivery address after placing the order and the fourth is delete which is used to remove something you might use this to cancel your order. So these four actions, get, post, put, delete, are the common ways REST API lets software applications work with the data. Now let us talk about what REST APIs send and receive. When an app sends a request to a REST API, it usually sends a small package of information. This package is written in a format called JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. You don't need to worry about writing JSON right now, but just know this JSON is a simply way to send a structured data like a pizza name, pizza price and the delivery address etc. So the server receives a JSON, does the work and then replies again in a JSON format, which confirms an update or an error message. So this exchange happens quickly and silently behind the scenes every time you use an app that connects to the internet. Now let us talk about why REST APIs matter. So why the REST API is so important? Because they allow different apps, websites and services to talk each other, even if they are built in different programming languages or run on different systems. Let us say you are using travel app. It might use a REST API to pull flight data from an airline system, hotel availability from booking website, and map data from navigation service all at once. So thanks to the REST APIs, all these systems can work together smoothly to give you a great experience, even though they are completely separate behind the scenes. 
Let us quickly recap what we learned today. An API is a way for two software systems to communicate. A REST API is a type of API that follows a specific rules to work over a web. REST API is used HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT and DELETE to request and manage data. The data is usually sent and received in a format called JSON. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.